There's some pretty interesting sources who are painting a pretty um, bleak picture of what's happening behind those um, glamorous walls of the Montecito Mansion. First up, Paul Burrell, who of course we know as Diana's butler right up until her death in 1997. Now he says that uh, Harry is only staying in his marriage so he can watch Archie and Lilibet grow up. So um, I'm not really quite sure how uh, Burrell actually knows this um, information about the marriage itself, but he's maintained, uh, I guess, a bit of a relationship with the two brothers since their mother passed away. So that's very interesting to hear that he thinks that Harry is just sort of being the sort of, um, you know, the spouse who won't leave because he doesn't want to miss his children or worse still, find that he goes to the UK and she stays in the US, which will be diabolical of course. Um, second up we have the information you referred to previously about um, him having these two bolt holes away from the family home. Now most people of course when they have a, um, a bit of a, a, a a fight with their spouse might sort of retire to a different room of the house and let's face it Meghan and Harry I th have think 26 bedrooms in that home but instead he's been traveling 160 k's away to those bungalows that you talk about and also he's got a bolt hole at a hotel in Montecito itself we don't know exactly where that is but the fact that he's got two escape rooms as it were I find very intriguing and probably not a good sign at home at all. Thirdly, we have the spectre of the divorce lawyer now entering the narrative here. And this information comes via a very good source in the royal family, Lady Colin Campbell, or Lady C, as she is known. Now, she is incredibly well connected. She's related to either through ancestry or marriage to just about all the European royals. And she says she's heard from five different sources that Harry... Uh, called in the divorce lawyers months ago, which would, if that's true, would be before their fifth wedding anniversary. So I think swirling together, it's not painting a very positive picture of things at home for them. Now Bronte, it's Harry and Meghan's wedding anniversary this week and as we look back at the photos from 2018, Lordy, a lot of water has passed under that bridge, but they haven't appeared to celebrate it. No, it's very strange that it's only been five years. It feels like we've lived several lifetimes since that wedding. I actually was covering the night of the wedding and uh, it was so exciting. We were so optimistic about the future and they looked so happy and it was the new chapter of the royal family. How times have changed. Uh, yeah, interestingly, they haven't actually marked the occasion at all. I would say that maybe they're opting for privacy, but then that doesn't really fit with recent events. So I, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one and it has certainly been noticed by people as well. Uh, and, and also, yeah, just the fact that it's been five years, surely they're having that thought as well. What have we achieved in five years? They were only in the royal family for about 18 months after that wedding and, and since then, we really are yet to see them move forward in a significant way away from the royal family ties um, into this new chapter they talked about. So it is a significant occasion and also very strange that they haven't said a word about it. Mm -hmm. 